Hello, everyone. Welcome to Classroom 2.0 Live for Saturday, June 20th. Today's topic is 10 Marks Math. Your show hosts are Peggy George, I'm Lori Moffitt, and Tammy Moore. Thank you to Tammy for doing the closed captioning for us. Our special guest is Catherine Hill. I'm going to turn the mic over to Paula Noggle to introduce Catherine for us. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for being here on Classroom 2.0 Live. Um, as part of the advisory board, when I met with Peggy um, to discuss upcoming topics, one of the ones that was suggested was 10 marks. And although I've used the program when I taught math, um, I didn't have a contact. So I put out a tweet um, and asked if there was anyone that could um, email me so that we could get someone on our show to present this wonderful program to our audience. And um, I was very lucky to be contacted by Catherine. And I was excited that um, after going back and forth a few times, we were able to find a date when she could come on our show and present 10 marks to us. So we are so excited to have Catherine Hill joining us today to share the goodness that is 10 marks. I have used this program in the past when I was a math teacher. Um, unfortunately, last year in, in this coming school year, I'm not teaching math anymore. I'm teaching ELA. But I am a uh, definite advocate for this program. Uh, it is a free and premium version. I only ever used the free one, which offered lots of good goodness to me and my students. So Catherine, we are excited that Catherine is here with us today. And she is the Senior Marketing Manager at 10 Marks. And she is very passionate about educational outcomes. She's got some really good things to share with us. And I love that she describes herself as a creative, scrappy, and passionate person, yet she is about analytical and metric, but she is analytical and metric driven. And of course, any of us in the math department we love analytics and metrics, don't we? So it is my great honor and pleasure to introduce us to today's host, Catherine Hill. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you for having me today. All right, Catherine, so it is all yours now. All you have to do is start out by talking about the newbie question and then go ahead with your presentation. Um, why is it important for students and teachers to have on-demand resources, videos, and assessments to support math learning? You know, that's a great question. On-demand resources are really important for a number of re reasons, which I'm sure all of you as classroom teachers or other educators know. But at first, they allow you as a teacher to focus your time where it's most valuable. You know, you can spend your time working with your students. Uh, when you have um, on-demand resources and assessments, you don't have to spend your time grading and prepping. Second, it allows for more real-time intervention, ensuring that your students' misconceptions and mistakes don't become ingrained um, and much harder to correct. Additionally, embedded videos and hints allow students to help themselves as they run into questions, helping them really take control of their learning. Finally, all of these tools help students prepare for and be more comfortable with the new online high-stakes assessments, really preparing them to be successful. So next, um, we're going to start um, talking about 10 marks in general. So we were actually acquired by Amazon about a year and a half ago. And that acquisition has really made it possible for us to improve our product, focus on um, what teachers and students need, and really helping teachers in the classroom. So again, thank you for introducing me. My name is Katherine Wood Hill. Um, I'm a senior marketing manager at TEDMARKS, um, and I'm really excited to be here today. To 
just want to go through um, my agenda quickly. We have a lot of topics to cover today. Um, we're going to start with an overview of our free summer math program. I know that a lot of you are already out of, of school for the year, but for those of you on the East Coast and those of you who aren't out of school yet, um, we can really help your students um, make sure that they don't lose their math skills over the summer. Um, we can start talking about um, kind of the challenges that are faced um, in classrooms today as we're moving towards um, more digital instruction and kind of getting away from the textbook model. Um, we'll go through Amazon and K through 12 um, and kind of the broader offering that Amazon has and how 10 Marks fits into that. Um, We'll talk through 10 Marks Math Teach, which is resources to help teachers in the classroom and really prepare you to uh, teach to the new standards. We'll talk about 10 Marks Math, which is our, our platform that allows you to um, that allows you to reinforce and really um, differentiate your teaching uh, so that students can um, really work to their level. Uh, and then we'll talk about next steps, how you can get involved with term marks. So as most of you know, students lose two to three months of math learning each summer. So what this really is is that um, it's that use it or lose it, right? So um, as, as students leave your classroom every year, they, it's like their minds just go blank. And as they don't, don't practice math over the summer, um, they're going to come back into your classroom um, really far behind. And uh, you're going to have to spend the first month doing review, as you know, and, and really not having time to focus on the new topics that you need to be teaching. And as we're moving towards these new standards, um, you need every minute of classroom instruction to be able to focus on the new material. Um, and these summer, the summer program really helps to focus on um, reviewing last year's content, making sure that um, you know all of the things that you're supposed to have learned the previous year. So it's going to fill in those gaps in learning and then also um, help students start to learn the content that they're going to be supposed to um, learn for the next year. And the question, it looks like somebody's asking about whether we are aligned to the Common Core. And we are. We're aligned to the Common Core and all of the new um, state standards. Um, it's also, we focus on depth and rigor. So as we hear from students and teachers, often um, we hear that 10 marks is really hard. Um, and the reason that 10 marks is really hard is because we are focusing on making sure that students are really prepared for the content that they're going to see on their high stakes assessments. But this isn't teaching to the test. This is making sure that students understand the the content, not just um, superficially that they can kind of answer a question, but that they understand the reasoning behind it. So we created the 10 Marks Free Summer Math Program in order to ensure that students are prepared for next year and that they're not learn losing all of that math learning over the course of the summer. Um, we're really proud of the fact that um, last year, 69% of students um, reversed their learning loss. So as we would expect, students would lose two to three months of math learning. So these students not only um, stopped learning loss, but they actually improved their um, post-assessment scores by 11%. So what that means is at the beginning of the summer, we give students a pre-assessment. This pre-assessment tells us where their gaps in learning are, where their challenges are, and how they need to proceed over the course of the summer to be prepared for next year's lessons. So at the end of the summer, after they have completed the program, 
we give them a post assessment. The post assessment um, scores were not only um, you know the same as as we would expect, but they actually increased 11 percent. Um, at this point, I just want to check in and see if anybody has any questions. Um, and if there is anything that I can answer before we move forward. Okay, great. So I'm going to keep moving forward. It looks like um, everyone is um, okay and there are no questions. So I want to start with a, a case study of a school district that really successfully used the summer program last year. Um, we'll talk about how they rolled it out to their district and um, the results that they saw. So Kettering City Schools is in Kettering, Ohio. They have about 7,200 students. Um, and nine out of their 11 schools actually qualify for Title I funding. So Kettering City Schools um, started with their park tests. Um, and as they did, um, administrators noticed that students didn't know how to use the equation editors and were really unfamiliar with the technology that these new tests required. Um, so they went looking for a program to get their students up to speed and really um, get them ready for the new state testing. Um, they were looking for a solution that has that equation editor so that they are really um, prepared for the new tests. And, and as I said, a lot of these are, are Title I schools, low-income schools. So many of these students didn't have access to technology at home. And so their challenge was figuring out not only over the summer, how do they help students to prepare for uh, the new test, but then also how do they give students access to that technology over the summer. They were looking for something that really addressed the common core. Um, they were looking um, for something that would let their teachers know how students did over the summer, who participated, and of those students who participated, um, what were their outcomes. And they were really um, looking for something that was free uh, so that families could take advantage of it over the summer without a financial commitment. Um, so what Kettering City Schools did was they, they tested a whole bunch of programs. They were looking for something um, that was really going to give them the depth and rigor required for the new state test. And they were looking for something that had that equation editor. Um, and 10 Marks was the only program that allowed them to have all of those things that they wanted. And again, it was free. Um, so, so they went ahead and planned an implementation of the 10 Marks Summer Program. Um, they hadn't been using 10 Marks in their schools at this point. So this was really a pilot to see how it worked over the summer, if it helped students see outcomes, and then if they were able to see um, an increase in student outcomes, look into actually doing a district-wide rollout of the program uh, the next year um, for teachers to use in their classrooms. Um, so this pilot, uh, they knew that they had to get buy-in from teachers um, if it was going to be successful. They knew that they had to get everyone in the district on board. So they really focused on getting initial buy-in from teachers with children. Um, so, so the administrators in the district went ahead and they sent emails out to all of the teachers, letting them know um, what the 10 Marks Summer Program is. Um, and we provide them with a lot of materials that they can share out with their teachers to introduce them to the program, how to use the program, um, what's important about the program, and how their students are going to benefit from it. Um, so they really focused on getting that initial buy-in from teachers with children. So what the teachers with children did is they went home and they tried it out with their kids. And they saw 
immediate improvements in their own children's performance. And this really helped the teachers feel comfortable talking about it with their, with their families. Um, so te families then, or teachers then started rolling it out to their families. So they were sending letters home. They were telling their students about the program. Um, the administrators started to link it out on the district website and also sending uh, district-wide emails. From, from there, they started actually doing marketing efforts to the community. And as I said, a lot of these schools are low-income, low so they may not have, families may not have, you know, the iPads and computers at home in order to actually be able to work on 10 marks over the summer. Um, so what they did was they went out to the, the local um, libraries and educated the librarians and the um, technology contacts at, um, at the school or at the library so that they were prepared for students coming in asking about 10 marks. So they actually started, all the libraries in the district started letting students who came in asking about 10 marks go to the front of the line, helping them log in. and. So not only did you have kind of a school and kind of a top-down buy-in from the schools, but you also had it from the community. Um, so another thing that, that teachers and families um, really felt comfortable with 10 marks was that uh, support materials are available for all users. All users can contact our customer support and even though it's a free program, there's a really robust support system that allows um, everyone, whether it's kind of your less tech savvy parent, if it is a student who is um, struggling in math, if it is a teacher who wants to recommend this to their, um, to their families, we have support materials available for all of those users. Um, so again, um, I just want to check in and make sure that everything that I'm talking about um, makes sense so far and see if anybody has any questions at this point. I know I tend to talk kind of fast. <laughs> I did capture one question, Catherine, and that was, okay. are students likely to do this on their own if their teachers don't assign it? And you know, that is question. a great question. So um, part of this is really getting that parent buy-in. So what parents can do at the beginning of the program is set custom rewards, and those custom rewards um, can be anything from a movie date with mom to, you know, a new toy to a trip to the zoo. Whatever it is that motivates your child, you can set as, um, as goals or mm -hmm. as custom rewards. And so if you say after three assignments, if you get greater than 80% on your first three assignments, we can do X. And these these don't have to be um, expensive. They can be whatever it is that motivates your child. And so that really helps. Um, the other thing is that the 10 Marks program has games that you can kind of earn by completing assignments. And so these games are short and fun, and they really motivate students to complete their assignments so that they can move on to the next. Um, game interval. Um, let's see. It looks like there are a couple of other questions. There are. Um, and I'm going to be, yeah, and I'm going to be addressing a lot of these um, as okay. we go through the, um, the program. But um, Eileen, it looks like you're asking about what grade levels. And um, the grade levels that 10 marks summer program um, helps with are students who are entering second grade through Algebra 2 and Geometry. Um, so it's a big um, swath of kind of the, the core math students within your um, grade schools.
So moving on, um, we can talk about the outcomes that Kettering saw. So the success of the 10 Mark Summer Program was they were getting positive feedback from basically everyone who touched the program, from teachers, parents, students, administrators across the board we got positive feedback. And that feedback was based on the improvement of scores of students, especially on students who had been struggling at the end of the year. We were really able to focus in on their knowledge gaps and help them catch up for the next year. Um, we were getting positive feedback from parents because our assignments, while they are very rigorous, they have built in hints and tips and videos that really help students take control of their own learning and dig in and understand what it is that um, they're trying to achieve and focus in on um, taking control of their learning and really moving forward. Um, what they, what they learned was that, you know, the content was really challenging for those kids who were going into second grade. Um, and, and some of us would say that that was a, a bad thing, but what they learned was that it was the perfect time to get these kids in the kind of their formative learning years to learn the new technology and the technology that students are going to be required to know um, as they uh, move forward in the new standards. Um, and they also found that even though the content for those younger kids was challenging, they could take their um, more advanced students who were entering the first grade and start them in the program so that they could start really developing those skills. Um, the other thing that they learned was that it is absolutely critical to have teacher buy-in. Even though this is a summer program that is mostly driven by, um, by the family, um, if the teachers didn't buy in and really message out the program and really feel confident about the program, it wasn't going to succeed. So getting that initial buy-in by having teachers try it out with their families, by having teachers explore the um, 10 Marks program prior to messaging it out was critical in order to see success. So, so we've kind of talked about at a broad level how a district used the 10 Marks pro Summer Program in order to improve their outcomes in the fall. Um, now we can go into a little bit more detail about what the Summer Program actually entails. Um, so, so as I said before, the Summer Program starts with a diagnostic test. So a parent creates their account and says, my student is going into the fourth grade. We will then provide that student with a diagnostic test based on their grade level. Um, and it'll tell us exactly where they have learning gaps, where they are succeeding, and where they need to focus their time over the summer in order to be prepared for the fall. Um, from there, we create a individualized, personalized playlist that takes the student from where they are today all the way through the end of the summer and allows them to focus in on exactly um, the content that they need in order to be successful. Um, every student has a personalized program. The two students' programs are going to look alike, um, and it really focuses in on exactly what that particular student needs. Um, so we talked about the hints and videos a little bit. Um, and what those are is as you are going through lessons and as you are going through your assignments, if you are struggling, every single question has built-in hints and videos to help um, increase a student's knowledge and really focus in on the skill that is required by that question. Um, and these aren't just telling the student how to answer the question. It's really helping the student learn the concept and then take that and apply it to the question. Um, we also have real-time interventions. So 
say a student is going through an assignment and they get a 65%. That student clearly doesn't have a firm grasp on the content, and we will provide them with a real-time intervention that addresses exactly where it is that the student is struggling within a particular concept. So it's not just going to be a generic overall review of the topic, but it's going to focus in on exactly where that student is struggling in order to move the student forward. Um, then at the end of the summer, we do a post-test, and that's where we find out, did the student actually stop their learning loss? Where did the student see improvements? Where is the student still struggling? And we allow the student to then um, share that with their teachers and schools. So um, back to Kettering, we actually saw a lot of success with um, at the beginning of the school year, so as they come back in September, the, the teachers said, okay, if you bring me your report card from 10 marks, we'll give you a piece of candy or, or some small token of encouragement so that all of the teachers could see where the students are in their learning progression and understand how um, the student improved or didn't improve over the course of the summer and where they need to be focusing during that school year. So as we're talking about summer learning loss, um, our goal is to prevent this. So I'm sure most of you who have ever been in a classroom have experienced this. I'm pretty sure I'll forget everything I've learned this year during vacation. Otherwise, there's no point in coming back every year. So our goal is really to prevent that, that learning loss and make sure that students come back the next year ready to learn the next year's content. Um, so I really encourage everyone to go ahead and sign up for the 10 Mark Summer Program. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to visit summermath.tenmarks.com. And um, when, you, when you visit that page and sign up with your information, um, we will send you out a whole um, link to a set of information that you can share with your family and that you can share with other teachers and administrators within your district. Um, in order to um, in order to really um, focus in on what the program does and encourage them to sign up. Um, does anybody have any questions specifically about the summer program before I move on? I do have some, but I think it might be wiser to move on and we'll catch them later. Okay, sounds great. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, um, 10 Marks was acquired by Amazon about a year and a half ago. And, and we, 10 Marks has always been very, very focused on teachers and on student success. But now as part of Amazon, we're able to really focus in on the Amazon philosophy of excellent customer service. Um, so, so what that means is as an Amazon brand, we're focusing in on convenience, personalization, you know, cutting edge technology, and really amazing service. Um, and, and that service is key in terms of making sure that parents and teachers are comfortable with our content and with 10 marks and that we are going to do what's best for the students. Um, and as a part of Amazon, we're able to really focus in on, um, on those, on that philosophy. The changing faces of K through 12 education. And for those of you, I mean, anywhere in education today, you know that there are a lot of things happening in, um, in learning and in standards across the board 
and really specifically in math. So there are new curriculum standards which require a whole new depth and rigor and a deep understanding as they are preparing for college and career readiness. Um, there's a shift um, in classroom teaching. So there's a shift from kind of the education um, and the, sorry, the textbook-based education to a technology-based education. Um, and there's really the new modes of instruction and learning and the new digital resources for the curriculum, which um, 10 Marks is really, 10 Marks and Amazon in general are really focusing on creating high quality resources for um, these new digital, the new digital curriculum. Um, so, so right now I would like to ask how many of you um, who are in the classroom or are in districts, how many of you, if you could just answer in the chat box, how many of you have one-to-one -one, um, iPads or tablets or computers? How many of you are um, having, you know, shared carts? And how many of you are um, still going to a computer lab? And kind of what does the technology in your classrooms look like? This is really great. So it looks like we've got a whole mix of um, technology um, within the districts. Um, so we have one-to-one. -one, we have shared laptop carts. Um, we have some people who have all of the above. Um, and it's a mix of laptops, Chromebooks, iPads, computers, Kindles, um, all across the board. And, and this is really um, kind of what we're hearing across districts is based on resources, based on kind of the level of commitment to technology within a district, we're seeing all sorts of different resources. And what's, what's great about 10 Marks and about um, Amazon K-12 education in general is that we're really focusing on being available across all of these different technologies and being able to um, provide resources that regardless of whether you're going to a computer lab once or twice a week or if you have one-to-one -one, you know iPads that students you're taking home with them every night we have resources and, and tools that work across all of those platforms and really encourage learning at the level that of technology that you have within your district. So the philosophy of Amazon in K through 12, regardless of whether we are talking about delivering content to your district, um, whether we are talking about, you know, the Kindle summer reading program, or whether we're talking about 10 marks math, um, our goal is to deliver the right content for every student on any device when they need it. So, so 10 marks and Amazon in K through 12 have devices. So we have the, the Fire tablets. We have digital content, which is coming from Whispercast. It's coming from Kindle. It's coming from Audible. Across the board, we have um, educational content. And then with 10 Marks, we have teaching resources, um, which I'll get into in more detail. Um, those resources are our Math Teach program. And then we also have the Adaptive Learning. And, and that's really focusing in on making sure that the content that Amazon is providing is appropriate to exactly where each student is. Um, and that's one of our big focuses right now. So adaptive math. Um, and this is really what is special about 10 marks is that we're helping teachers deliver the right instruction to every student on any device right when they need it. 
And so not only are we providing this content to students, but we're aiding teachers in being able to teach to um, these, these new tools, these new tests, these new um, standards. Um, and so we provide resources for both teachers to teach and students to learn. So starting in with uh, 10 Marks Math Teach, this is um, one of our two um, main products that you can use during the school year. Um, and what this is is teacher prep and instructional resources. So um, right here we're looking at a tree um, that shows a standard. So if this is your new, new standard, um, the roots of this tree are basically all of the prerequisite standards that a student would need to have learned in order to learn this new standard that we're teaching. And as you're using the 10 Marks Math Teach product, we um, provide you with a, a review and then tools to teach the new standard. And it's broken down into each of the different concepts within that standard. Uh, one of the reasons we actually created this Math Teach program is that we surveyed um, a lot of teachers and got 4,400 responses. And what we found out is that teachers across the board routinely supplement the instructional materials that they're getting from their districts, and they just really don't feel like they're being adequately supported by their districts to teach the new standards and really teach um, the depth and rigor of content that's required for um, math today. Um, so for those of you who are in the classroom and those of you who are administrators, um, does this align with what, what you're seeing? Um, does this, are you supplementing the content that your districts are providing or do you feel like you get exactly what it is that you need from your district in order to teach math? You can answer in the chat window. I'm guessing because I'm not getting any uh, responses that most of you are um, here because you need to supplement your, your content and supplement your resources. Otherwise, you probably um, may not be here. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to continue through. So we're getting down into the nitty gritty of the actual 10 Marks Math Teach program. So when you log in, you'll see, if you're a fourth grade teacher, you'll see all of the standards that are required for the, for the year. You'll see um, lessons, then it's broken down into lessons. So you can click in and you will get all of the prerequisite material you will get the, um, the real core of the content, and then you will get um, information on how to differentiate in order to move forward and make sure that um, each um, student is getting exactly what it is that they need. Um, so let's actually dig into what you're seeing in Math Teach. Starts out with um, after we've kind of covered standard and what it is that you uh, your students are expected to know by the end of the standard. Um, we start with questions to assess your students' readiness for the um, for the content. So these questions are looking back at previous standards and all of the prerequisite material to make sure that your students really understand it and if if they don't understand it, we have resources in order to 
go back and remediate. So um, you can actually present these questions to your class, and it's a um, scaffolded approach where you can just click through and each of these questions will appear. Or you can use this kind of as a, um, as a framework for making sure that you know exactly what it is that your students should have learned so that you can use that as context when you're teaching. So then after we've kind of assessed readiness, if you say that your students are ready to move on, we start with some review questions to get them warmed up and ready for the new content. And again, you can present these and click through to kind of scaffold the approach to the questions. And each question builds on the previous. Well, then focus in on the actual content. And this is where you are teaching the nitty gritty details of this particular standard. Um, and each of these questions um, appear one at a time. And you can present these, or you can use these again as a framework in order to, um, in order to teach to your class. Uh, the scaffolding of these questions is really important to us. Um, so, so what it does is um, allows students to really discover the concept. Um, and we've, we have a whole team of educators who create these, um, these questions to kind of let that light bulb go off for students as you walk through these. Once you've finished teaching the, the material, um, however it is that you choose to teach the actual material, we then have options for helping you know, extend learning. So if you have students who are really advanced, you can go through kind of these projects and questions to help those students move forward with, with their learning. And then we also have remediation options to help make sure that we can pull those students who are struggling up. So our second product is 10 Marks Math. And this is really our platform where you reinforce, intervene, assess, and differentiate for each individual student. So this is where the bulk of the student work comes from. Um, if math are resources for teachers, this is resources for students. So um, you'll see that students are getting assigned work based on exactly where they are. Um, this will then, as they're working through those assignments in their playlist, they will get amplifiers if they are struggling. They will get. Um, opportunities to really go back and relearn anything that they, they haven't learned and really address those gaps. Um, and then there are, will also be opportunities to extend learning. So if a student is doing really well, um, their playlist will start to move them into more advanced content. Um, from there, uh, we have assessments that um, you can assign. And as your student works through those assessments, we start making recommendations. Um, we start making recommendations that say, this student did really well on these particular concepts within the assessment. So you assign a test. It has four concepts, for example. Each of those um, will say, you know, the student did really well here, here, and here. The student struggled in one particular um, topic, and we will then assign um, assignments based on the results on those tests. So this is how we really make sure that we're personalizing the content to each student's individual needs. So actionable assessments really means that not only do we test them to see yes or no they got the content, yes or no, you know, they have a, or, you know, they get a grade. So, for example, this student got 73%. What, we're not just going to say this student got 73%. We're going to say on these topics, the student did well. On this, and these topics, the student didn't. 
and that will then inform the assignments that they get. So here are some examples of um, questions that a student could get within an assignment. So, so you'll see that we have hints that are embedded within there, and a student can click to say, I need some help. Um, and, and you'll notice that um, these hints don't just tell them the answer. They really help them figure out the steps in order to answer the question themselves. You'll notice that when we're looking at answers to questions, um, they require not only that you answer the question, but that you have reasoning behind the answer. So oftentimes the answers will be 18 out of 42 because, 18 out of 42 because, and really make it so that you focus on why, why the answer is correct, so that you can show that deep understanding. And here's another example of the critical thinking required. Um, in order to answer these questions. And the reason that we do that is this is how students are expected to know math today. It's not just I can regurgitate, but it's I have a deep understanding. So we talked about a little bit about amplifiers earlier, and these are our interventions. So if a student has gone through a assignment and not mastered the, um, the content. Um, and we, we say that by, you know, they got less than 70% on an assignment. They are assigned an amplifier. And what this does is it goes back through the specific target areas that the student did not master within an assignment and focuses in on making sure that they um, learn the content in that deep way, and it walks them through how to answer the questions that they specifically didn't get correct. Um, and I think that some of you are starting to ask questions about this. So um, one of the things that's really key to the 10 Marks program is data-driven instruction. So we can tell you real time exactly how students are doing so that you can, all right, let me go quickly. <laughs> Thanks, Becky. <laughs> um, good data, better instruction. So let's say exactly what that means. Um, as a teacher, you log in. You can see exactly how your students are doing and what they are doing. So you have students who haven't logged in. You have students with um, assessments due. And you can see exactly where it is that your students are focusing. Um, once you click into an assignment, you can see how students are doing on that assignment. You can see what the common mistakes are. And this is one of the most important things that 10 Marks does, is it shows you that um, students are having trouble with these three topics. So if students do an assignment tonight, tomorrow morning you can say, okay, I'm going to reteach these three concepts. Um, in order to make sure that students really have that deep understanding. Uh, then we have one-click differentiation, and this is another thing that really makes 10 marks different and sets us apart, is that you can say, yes, I want to add challenge to the students who are doing um, well, and it'll challenge them specifically on the topics that they are doing well on, and you can add review to students who are struggling. Um, here's kind of an overview of where all of your students are on the various um, standards. You can see exactly where students are doing well, where students aren't, and how each student within your class is progressing. Um, again, this is 
a great way to pull students into small groups. It's a great way to um, focus and individualize your teaching. And it's a great way to see what topics should I be addressing within the classroom. Um, so next steps. Um, hopefully you're excited about 10 marks and you want to really go and register at 10marks.com to start prepping for next year. Um, I really encourage each of you to play with it over the summer so that you can feel comfortable with the content and you can know exactly what it is and how you want to use it in your classroom next year. Um, additionally, I would love it if you could visit summer.10marks.com. Um, and so as a teacher, you can sign up and start playing with the program. You can also let your students know about summer.10marks.com, which is where parents will actually register um, to get their kids started in the summer program. All right. Well, now that I've covered all of my content, um, are there other questions? Yes, Catherine, I did capture questions. Uh, let's see. Um, Can you describe exactly how the process works for students once they are signed up for the summer program? Do they have something daily, weekly? So um, the process is that a parent will visit summer.10marks.com and sign up their student. Um, the parent will then have a login. So that login is where a student can um, is where a parent can set those custom rewards and um, figure out exactly how they want their student to progress. Mm -hmm. um, there is no set timing on the summer program. We recommend that you do, you know, 30 minutes a couple times a week um, in order to get full advantage of the program. Um, but the assignments will be set and so in a playlist, and the student can just work through them at their own pace. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, does it remember where the student leaves off if they don't finish a lesson? Absolutely. The Good. student can start right back where they were. Um, uh, does it record if students use the hints as they're working? I think actually Paula answered that one. It does. So you can see where students are using hints. Um, you can see um, how long it takes the student to do an assignment. And so you can really not only see how the student did on the assignment, but did they put some work into it and did they take responsibility for their learning? If a student got you know, a 10% on an assignment, but it only took them five minutes to do the assignment, uh, there's a conversation to be had there. Right, right. How would next year's teacher get the assessment information since students sign up with their current teacher? Um, so students can email their teachers a report card at the end of the year, or they can print it and bring it in to their um, teacher. Um, it's also in their student account. So if the teacher logs in, they can um, see if the student participated in the summer program and how they did. OK. How different is 10 marks from either Front Row or Khan Academy? Um, so, so what's different about 10 marks from those two programs, which are great, is that we provide a lot of teacher support. So mm -hmm. with the 10 marks math teach program, it's, it's really um, unique in the industry that we provide teaching resources and the ability for teachers to step through um, each step in teaching a, a lesson. And what's important about that is a lot of teachers um, who are new to math or who are new to these standards um, may not be as comfortable with with the material as mm -hmm. you were with teaching math five years ago. Mm -hmm. 
Well, terrific. Those were the questions that I captured. Are there any others? If so, you can type them in the chat. I see some typing going on, so we'll pause slightly. Okay, I don't see any other questions. I see many thanks being expressed. Well, thank, well, thank you all questions. for... Um, yes, thanks so much for, for presenting, for telling us all about 10 marks today. So I'll turn the you. mic over to Peggy. Thank you so much, Catherine. Lots of information. And so I hope that people will take some time to go back through the Live Binder and explore all those different links and um, webinar recordings and learn more about it as they have some time over the summer. I want to remind all of you that we're taking a little break now for the next month. So we won't be having any shows through the month of July, and our next show will begin on Saturday, August 1st. So we'll, we hope you'll all be back to join us then. And maybe you can spend some time this summer browsing through some of the recordings you missed. And feel free to submit your forms if you want PD certificates for watching those recordings. Do want to remind you that ISTE is coming up. And I know that many of you aren't able to attend that. So there are a couple of links in the live binder that will let you know how you can participate in this day live virtually. So some of them are free and some of them cost money. So I hope that you'll kind of check them out and see what's available. That Again, that link is in the live binder for you. And Lori, I'm going to turn it back to you to quickly close us out. Okay, Pe Peggy, uh, the Learning Revolution Project is Steve Hargadon's latest endeavor. He's gathered together all of his PD resources in one place, including the Host Your Own Webinar series. So if you do sign up for a Blackboard Collaborate room through the series, uh, your session is free as long as you make the session public so that other people can attend. You can nominate a featured teacher at this form, which is in each month's live binder. So each month we usually celebrate a classroom teacher. If you are a classroom teacher, you can also nominate yourself for the monthly featured teacher. As you exit the session, the Classroom 2.0 Live survey should open up. And if not, you can take the link that also is in the Live Finder. The link is also in the chat box, so you can take the link from there. At the bottom of the survey, there's the Professional Development Certificate request. Type in your name, and it appears right on the certificate when you get it back. Please, though, use a personal email address. Otherwise, you might not get this. School email addresses will block you from receiving the certificate usually. All of the recordings are available at iTunes U in both a video collection and an audio collection. And you can get to the recordings through an RSS feed link as well if you have a feed reader set up. That links to the Classroom 2.0 Live website. Also, the full recordings are in the website as well. Again, special thanks to Catherine Hill, our guest today, to Steve Hargadon, the founder of Classroom 2.0, Teacher 2.0, Future of Education and the Learning Revolution, to Weebly.com for providing our website, to Blackboard Collaborate for our webinar platform, and to everyone who participated in today's show, thank you so much for coming.